Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to customize room numbers in Revit with Dynamo. Scripting in Revit can be intimidating because of all the upfront work, but if you make something applicable to a lot of projects, you're going to end up saving time and money in the long run. I think it's a way to work smart and not just work hard. A task like changing project numbers in your Revit model is usually something that's done in every project, so why not just automate it? Let's look at a Dynamo script that I made that can do just that. You can see a Revit model on the right and the Dynamo script on the left. I'm going to create seven different rooms in the Revit model in some of those spaces. So you can see that the room numbers are pretty random right now and not in order. Next, I'm going to draw a spline going through these rooms that I want to renumber. The direction of the spline is pretty important. I want the start of the spline to be in the first room renumbered and the end of the spline to be in the last room. In this case, I'm going to renumber room 110 first and room 109 last. When I go to this Dynamo script, I'm going to select the spline that I just drew in the Select Model Elements node and then I'm going to run it and you can see immediately that the rooms were renumbered. Room 110 is now room 500 and room 109 is now room 506. Let's go through the script. The first part of the script selects the spline that you drew and divides it into equal segments. The second part selects all the rooms that are in the project and creates a bounding box around all those rooms. In the third part, we come to the list map node, which is pretty important. If you hover over it, you'll see the definition. A list map node takes in two inputs, a list and a function. It applies the latter to the original list and generates a new list from the results. When you go to the next part of the script, you're going to see several list map nodes. The first list map node checks if the points on the spline line the rooms. The second list map node then filters that list to just the points that do line the rooms. Since there are several points in the rooms, we're going to have to flatten the list and create a unique list, which you can see in our final watch node, one point in each of those rooms. Now we come to the last part of the script where our rooms are going to be renumbered. We're going to create a sequence with a starting point, in this case 500, and an increment of 1, and that list of numbers is then converted into a list of strings. So by drawing one spline and using this Dynamo script, you can renumber all the rooms in your flow plan in one go. As always, click on the link in the description below to download the Dynamo script that you just saw and hit the thumbs up button if you liked this video and thought it was useful. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And until then, I'm Belinda. This is Automation and Building Construction. Thanks for watching.